When you looked at the salaries of all these people, public servants, and you, when you compared them, I don't know why you really trying to reduce the salaries of the members of parliament more than any other public servant in this country. The MPs are not the only ones who earn more than the commissioners and all the others. Are you biased in doing so? Now you've come up to make an explanation why you had to cut the salaries of the members of parliament. I mean, couldn't you have done it earlier? Does it show that you are arrogant? Then if you are, how then are you going to be a diplomat representing us in a different country? I know that the members of parliament have looked at it as skewed. But for information, this cut across the entire state offices. It's just that others don't have the forum, perhaps like the members of parliament have to air their views as much as they came to SRC. But we had to deliberately bridge the gap between the highest and the lowest. What did that mean? That we had to reduce from the president. By the way, it's probably just the members of parliament that don't understand me. The rest of the other Kenyans understand me a lot. And we relate with them very positively. And out of this and out of SRC, let's get to engage more now as the Kenyans, and they start always more of a mother than probably the SRC chair that you saw. The issue of the Chinese in our country, this thing that we owe them so they can now trample on us as a country, they come in and start hawking. I've seen them hawking utensils in estates in Nairobi, you know, taking jobs that are meant for Kenyans. I would like to know how will you protect the Kenyan youth, the Kenyan worker, from this influx of these Chinese how do they enter here? Because I can imagine a Kenyan going to China and trying to hawk. You have to probably have some documentations and even enter that country to be able to get into the business. It's more perhaps of our own enforcement rules. Do we have those rules to start with? I would be busy um, engaging with the government of China, because I need to bring this to the attention if this opportunity is given to me. That does not remove me from taking the responsibility of engaging with the various ministries that are also involved in the documentation of foreigners coming in and undertaking these jobs. Are we sleeping on the job? Is probably something I need to, to, to pick up.